Friday about 6.30. Look at this guy. Yep, he's going to be waiting for supper. And inside, what did I do? I cooked some green beans, made some cilantro lime rice, more bacon, made a mess of pancakes. This is another meal for another day. So I've got a few meals lined up. And tonight, I'm having a hamburger. It cooks up really little and skinny. So I took a piece of bread, and it's in half. I buttered part of it. And uh, it'll brown on both sides. And I'll put it on the plate, make the french fries, and have the last of this celery salad. I'll get some more stuff tomorrow, I think. A little barbecue sauce. Sweet baby Ray. Somebody's... Thinking I got something for him already. Not yet, but not yet. Well, I don't know why. In the morning, I just... My axle's always dragging in the morning. It's all, you know, sun, sunset is earlier and earlier now. In a half an hour, the sun will be set. And your body, if you have a decent circadian rhythm, is going to say, It's time for bed. But I have stuff to do. I have a bunch of stuff to do in my room. Now that I have a ticket and I've told Scott, I emailed the, the itinerary to him, but apparently he either didn't look or didn't get it. So I messaged him today. He says, you know, he didn't say anything bad, so I guess it'll work, you know. I tried to take everything into consideration. Arriving late on a Thursday, I'll be on my own on Friday, goofing around. And Saturday and Sunday and Monday is our Thanksgiving. I will see family. And then Tuesday, on his way to work, he'll drop me off at the airport. And, and that's that'll work. Right? Will that work? Hello, everybody. <laughs> yeah. I haven't weighed myself in a couple days because I'm afraid to look because I've been hungry like but I've been eating a lot of that celery salad so hopefully that's not so bad things I need to do after eating is uh, I have a, a large container and I need to sort it out with little small containers and gallon bags marked up with zippers and needles and thread and all the various sewing stuff so that it just put sewing on the top and put it in the closet. So if I need something, I pull the whole thing out and it's easier to find. Little baskets on the shelf or little trays and things, it's a lot easier to find something when you can pull the tray out and look at it instead of reaching in there and rummaging through trying to see. That is, you know, it may seem silly, but it is easier to do that. I was going to make supper here real soon. Spency did not go to school today. He has some kind of a rash thing right through here. And today is all congested and stuffed up. Nothing like another thing from school. Another gift from school. <laughs> He was having such a good time in the beginning of the week. Now he's all stuffy again, poor thing. <sighs> Tomorrow, Saturday, the Footlighters Theater, the first people I tried getting involved with, they need some help making props and scenery and stuff like that. So, I, And it said snacks provided. <laughs> so I'm going to show up, see if I can help. And they're really close to Trader Joe's, so I'll pick up a couple more supplies for some more salad before, between now and when I go to Canada. And I'll probably make several more salads before then, but uh, just a couple things and some Dawn dish dishwashing liquid. I go through that pretty good because I wash my hands a lot and I use it for the dishes and I use it for spot cleaning and things like that, so... And Kitty Cat's decided he's going to hunker down. <laughs> oh, how long have I talked? About five minutes. Okay. So that's about it for the day. I did watch two movies. I'm trying to remember what the first one was. 
And if you don't do anything at the end of the movie, it goes on into something else. The second one was Secret Life of Pets or something. It was animated. Oh, it was so cute. It was funny. It was funny. I think Spencer would like that movie a lot. What was the first one I watched? Do you remember, Kitten? <laughs> Elephino. I... <laughs> What do you get when you cost an elephant with a rhinoceros? Elef rhino, right? That's salad. And then I have these little gluten-free crackers that are, I don't know, I guess they have some kind of spices on them and sea salt and olive oil dribbled on them. Oh, they're habit-forming. They're gluten-free and they're not terribly too many calories so I'm trying to be careful I'm trying to do, be a good girl with the the diet trying to drink more water sometimes you want a little more just even a little more than tea so I might make some Gatorade which has um, electrolytes and stuff in it to replenish what your body might be lacking it was 104 Fahrenheit 40 Celsius today eh. You go outside and, like, you know, when it's really hot, you don't feel, it. you don't feel any breezes or anything, and when it's even hotter, <laughs> you go step outside, it's like, oh, who left the oven open? And yeah, I did a lot of cooking, a lot of it in the microwave. A couple times I used the pan, the frying pan, which I'm going to use for supper as well. Uh, and I did warm things up in here, but this room is always warm. And uh, there's a few clouds out there today, which is very nice. I think we're supposed to have 100 degree plus weather for the next three or four days. And then by the middle of next week, it's supposed to be kind of back to normal and actually even cool at night. Oh, that's going to be nice. That's going to be really, really nice. By the time I go to to Canada, they're, according to their thing uh, uh, I looked on, uh, the high will be about 59 degrees Fahrenheit, which is chilly. Anything under 60 degrees, my nose gets red and cold. But uh, I'm up for it for a couple days for sure, yeah. What can I do? I will probably film going and helping out tomorrow. Sunday, don't know. Monday, don't know. I don't know much, do I? Nope. <laughs> I do know that I appreciate you, and I'm glad you're there. And we're all in this together. The whole world, really. Whenever some country makes some weird decision, whether it's Germany or France or America, the United States or whatever, the whole world is affected. We're all global now. You know, like 100 years ago, we weren't. But we are now, and uh, I'm really, really glad. I'm glad you're there. I'm glad to know you. Take care of yourself. We need you. You're wanted and loved. Take care, okay? See you tomorrow, upward and onward.